different is uh, in, in our normally it's in Württemberg in Schwabia it's uh, normally most red wines. There I think there are 60% red wine to 40% uh, white. And uh, in our town in Stetten it's um, special for white wine and special for Riesling I think so because we are on a side valley and the most wineries in our, our village have uh, more white than red. And me also have uh, 80 percent uh, white wine because it's a very huge place for 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 the Riesling because we have not that hot uh, uh, vineyards and also not uh, to yeah it's always a little bit windy and the exhibition is to east southeast west southwest not directly uh, south and we have an altitude from 280 meters to 400 meters and so it's a real cool climate uh, vineyard. And you have uh, at the bottom you have the, the Gipskoiber, gypsum is inside, uh, you have also clay inside, you have a limestone in, inside. And so um, there, there is very flavoring, very open from the fruit. And <clears throat> the next step is the Schilfsandstein. It's a, it's a clay-free sandstone, chalk-free sandstone, and, and you you got more 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 body in the wine, but low alcohol. Uh, for example, in the 2014, 11.5 alcohol, but it shows you a lot of uh, minerality and a lot of fruit. More the yellow fruits in the Schilfsandstein. More the the. the more the white fruits in the in the Gipskoib also, and so it changed to from each soil from each altitude changed the 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 flower the the fruit a little bit, and so that's the very very um, exciting thing here. Yeah.